Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Paula Young wig by the name of Lorelei. And here she is. I have her in the color All Spice as well. So you'll want to stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Coco and it's a beautiful day in Coco's Hair Solutions. We are going to be looking at a Paula Young wig by the name of Lorelei, and in this color, which is All Spice. It's one of Paula Young's exclusive colors. So she's another mid-length, kind of a wavy young lady with a side sweat bang. I have her in the box right here, so you can see all her numbers. And the numbers of that particular color, All Spice. So it should be a medium, kind of a brownish, kind of, kind of in the same vein of honey or uh, that's SF1228. I've been wearing a lot of that color lately and it I like it for summertime. It's a real pretty one. And if you get the distinct highlights in it, it's gorgeous. But we'll see what the allspice is like, okay? Let's get her out of the box and we'll look at her cap construction. So it's a combination of open and closed wefting. So we've got, first of all, a nice wide velveteen band to go across the forehead at the hairline. We've got open wefts on the right and left side of center. We've got some closed ro um, lace, rose lace on the center and the crown, as well as on the far right and left. So that's gonna give us just enough area up there with a little bit of permatease and some breathability, places where it can lay a little flatter. So it's just, I think it's a good combination because that's what I've been finding with the wigs that have that particular cap construction. They have the, about the right amount of permatease on top. Not too much, not too little. All right, we have open ear tabs on the right and left with metal stays. We happen to have a closed extended nape as well. And she does not have any stays, but she does have the Velcro adjusters on the right and left. So you can adjust that circumference to match your needs particularly. And then of course, we've got lots of rows of hair curtains that make those um, wefts that make it stretchy and fits well, all that good stuff. All right, let's look at this color. This is allspice. She has a little bit of a smudgy root and she's a golden blonde. She's got highlights and lowlights. You can see that definite combination of warm, honey, caramel, and then of course topped off with the dark root. So let's take a look. She is a little shorter than this young lady that I have on today and less barrel curls, curves, <laughs> curls, <laughs> less barrel curves, a long side sweat bang. We can see that. Let's go ahead and wake up those fibers before we start putting her on. I want to make sure that she lays well or, you know, maybe she forgot what she was supposed to do. and We need to remind her, right? <laughs> okay. Well, she's a relaxed body of, um, of curls. So I'm anxious to have, uh, see what she's like, okay? Well, before we put her on, what I have on today is Dylan by Polly Young in the color Honey, SF1228. All right, well, oh, I also have one of my wig, I mean, my square bands on too. Perfect for these big voluminous girls, huh? All right, let's go ahead and try on Laura Lee. All right, oh, very soft, very, very soft. Okay, now this is their special color, limited ex or ex exclusive color. And it, the fibers feel really neat. The cap feels really nice. Covers me comfortably, not tight. Okay, so my goodness. Look at this young lady. All right, the picture shows her having the part on the left. And that's kind of what she was trying to do to begin with. So we'll do a little bit of finger curl or brushing. And then what we'll do is do a spin. Now, this is a really relaxed uh, shoulder length bob. Look at her. Interesting, huh? We had a lot of curl with some other girls that are in this mid-range group. Can you see those wefts? I'm guessing that you can't see them because of the dark roots and the dark um, cap. So this side swept bang 
coming from the left. Let's add a little more part and see if that gives us some other different kind of profile. So it does give us a little height right here in the middle. Now this girl is so comfortable, you know, she's almost like a relaxed shag. Well, how comfortable is that? Boy, she is, I think she's kind of cute, huh? Yeah, she's a lot different than I thought she would be. Okay, let's look at that picture. Okay, so this is what her picture looks like. And this is kind of, this is what I ended up with. All right. Well, let's take a look at um, her measurements and we're going to talk about her coverage, okay? All righty. So, it says loose, effortless curls and textured layers give this modern day mid-length mid a sexy, carefree look. Well, you know, I kind of, I could agree with that, couldn't I? <laughs> could you? <laughs> anyway. All right. Average size cap only. She's 3.1 ounces, and of course, um, the seven and a half, or the front is seven and a half, so that's these bangs guys right here. Seven and a half inches on the front and the top and the crown, seven and a half inches, okay? The sides are eight and a half inches, and the upper back is eight and a half inches, okay? So that goes, that's where we're getting this to come down. Eight and a half inches. Okay. Now the nape is five and a half inches. She comes in 22 colors. So all of Paula Young's preferred colors, as well as this exclusive color, which is, it's called um, Allspice. And so I think it's a really beautiful color. In fact, it's comparable to Godiva Secrets uh, Creamy Toffee Rooted. And, um, oh, it's just very pretty. It's like, it's got cool and warm colors to it. So it could do a crossover between, between um, cool and warm, warm skin tones. So, okay. Well, look at how effortlessly she looks stylish going behind my ear. Now I wanna bring your attention to, you know, I treated my, my sideburn area with my root cover, which is in this little, it's in the descriptor box. It's called Belle Ame Root Cover. And I put it on, it comes with a little brush, a brush on both ends for one for application and one for blending. And this is the medium brown and that's the color that I use all the time. And I use it when I wear waves like this to help soften that start stop line. So that when I put my hair behind my ears, it looks like it's part of the cap. Now I wanted, I even put it at the top so you can see that here, but I'm going to show you the contrast. When I don't put it on, look at the, the stark contrast. You can see the start stop line of the cap in certain places. And just putting that little bit of brown, starting at the cap line and then coming out and blending it into the hair, the, right at the edge of the hairline. It helps to disguise the fact that you're wearing a wig. It does such a great job. But, okay, well, I love this hairstyle. I think, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna keep her. Yeah, I mean, I've run into some of these, um, these shoulder length, mid length wigs and they're just gorgeous. The density is low. It's 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 a little above low. Yeah, because if it was too low, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to wear it comfortably and it wouldn't cover quite as much. But this really does. It feels good on my head. And look at the little bit of wave. You know, it just looks like I took her out of the rollers. But I don't ever have to worry about curling her or styling her. She's going to look great no matter what. Well, Anyway, oh gosh. Okay, well let me put in a square band. This is the one I had on with the wig I had on at the beginning, but she looks great with that. And of course, having these double layers, this layer right here and then the layer down here, lends itself to looking good with it behind my ears. Well, I don't think she is a style that's conducive to to adding water to. But let's try a couple of, of um, clips. Well, we can leave the bangs down 
and put that little bit up here to add a little bump. You know, if you wanted to hold back those sides a little bit more, you can put some tiny little clips. They don't have to be blingy. They can just be utilitarian. But doesn't this wig look like it could be a useful everyday kind of wig? It's just so cute. Very nice, elegant even. And she could transition from, from at home to work to evening to play, special occasion all of them just depending on what accessory or if you choose to use an accessory well this is lorelei in the color all spice i hope you've enjoyed seeing her it was a great surprise and a delight for me so you guys go have a good weekend and we will see you next time in coco's hair solutions bye bye